Hi, this is Matt Wimmer from Brody Precision, and welcome back to Certificates in Niagara, our final installment in the series on signed modules. So signed modules work off of a concept known as code signing. With code signing, developers have a special code signing certificate that they use to sign their code to confirm their identity and guarantee that that code hasn't been altered after they sign it. You can think of it as a tamper seal um, that makes it evident when someone messes with code and changes it up and, and potentially adds bad things into the code. In Niagara, all of the modules uh, from four, at least 4.8 and beyond are signed by Niagara. All the modules that come with Niagara are signed and third-party modules should be signed, uh, but if they're not, you can run into issues. So in 4.8, Tritium began to roll out their verification system for signed modules. And the way it works is there are three different modes. You have a low, a medium, and a high. In the low mode, any modules that are not signed or are signed with untrusted or expired certificates or, or self-signed certificates will cause warnings, um, but they'll still function properly. So you could go into your application director and see a warning there about the certificate uh, not being there, the code not being signed, but the code will still run, your module will stop, still operate as it's supposed to. With the medium, all the modules must be signed with a valid trusted certificate, but they can be self-signed. Unsigned or invalidly signed modules are not allowed and you will not be able to open them or run the code in them at all. High takes that to its highest level, and now all modules must be signed with a certificate authority signed certificate. An internal CA can be used, uh, but in this case, the CA certificate must be imported into the user's trust store, as we talked about earlier with the um, creating your own certificate authority video. Um, installation of mod modules signed with self-signed certificates are not allowed. That's the main difference between your medium and your high verification modes. So what does the rollout look like on this for Niagara? Um, in 4.8, the default verification mode was set to low, and that made it so that you would see the error message in your application director, but all your code would still function properly, um, and, but you were just aware that you know something was going on. In 4.9, they've changed the verification mode up to medium, and this means that code that isn't signed at all or modules that are not signed will not open or run at all. You can change this by decreasing it to low or moving it up to high, but out of the box, it's set for medium. Now, at some point in the future, I've heard conflicting reports on when exactly, but I hear it will be a little bit out. Um, Niagara will change the default mode to high and users can decrease to medium, but they'll not be able to decrease to low. So that means that any modules will need to be signed in some way, shape, or form. So we have our modules, and we want to change our verification mode. What, what does that look like? Well, we're going to go into our Niagara install directory in the defaults folder. There's a system.properties file. Inside that file, there's a line called Niagara.module verification mode. And by default, it's commented out. And it'll just take the default that's built into uh, the code behind the scenes. And that default is medium in, in this case. Um, but you can change it to low, medium, or high. And that line of code is going to be around somewhere like 404. Um, so that you can find it a little bit easier. It's going to be down towards the bottom of the text file. And we're going to take a look at that now and what uh, the modules not opening looks like uh, and what the error messages look like in Niagara. All right, so I'm um, open now in Niagara 4.9, and I can go over to my palette here just as a demonstration um, and show you what this ver this module verification looks like in practice. So if I just pull up a, a random module, something like uh, Alarm here, this is something that comes out of the box with your install of Niagara, and you can see it opens no problem at all. But I also have a TCOM module here from MaxLine Solutions, which is an older version. It has no code signing in it at all. And I open that up, 
and you'll see this error message comes up. This is an error message that you probably haven't seen before. Um, and what it says is that it couldn't validate our certificate chain for this specific module. And before I can even put the code into a station, the workbench is gonna yell at me and say that I, I can't open it at all. So I'm gonna hit okay here, and now we're gonna go into that system.properties file, which is in my install directory and defaults. And then you'll see this system.properties, and I can open it up in my text editor. And if we come down here, I'm down at the very bottom of the file. Uh, and at line 404, we have this Niagara.module verification mode equals medium. And at the beginning, you'll see there's this pound sign. That just means it's a comment, so we can get rid of that to uncomment it. And I want to move now down to low because I want to be able to use that TCOM driver. So I'm going to just type in low here, do a save, and then close out with Workbench open. I can go back into my palettes and pull up the TCOM module. And you'll see that now the module opens up without any problems. And a helpful tool that you might not have known existed in Niagara is if you go up to Tools and then Module Info, it will list out all the modules that you have installed locally on your machine, and then it will also show you the status of the signature. So if I just open this up here, I can see that it was signed by Niagara, status is OK. But if I scroll down to a problem module, you can see that these TCOM modules are signed, but they're using a self-signed certificate, which is why I'm getting this exclamation point yellow shield. And if it's not signed at all, you would get a red shield. And that does it for this series on certificates in Niagara. Official Tritium documentation on just about everything that we've covered in this series can be found in the docs directory of your Niagara install. For certificate-specific information, you can go to docs station security. And for module signing specific information, you can go to doc module sign. Uh, for additional information on Niagara and other software and uh, parts that we sell, you can go to bptechcenter.com. Or you can get in contact with me if you have ideas for other videos or if you have any questions on anything we talked about in this series at mwhitmer at brodyprecision.com. Thanks a lot. I hope you found this helpful, and we'll see you again in the next video.